Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, thanks for watching Barton Hill Outdoors. Uh, Brett and I are on our way up to our lease. Uh, be there in about 30 minutes or so. Uh, it's October 15th, and it is 65 degrees. So it's not cold, but it's not hot either. So uh, this morning I got three different bucks, two on this farm uh, that are shooters on camera right around daylight so we're hoping that that's a good sign for this evening and one buck that we're really after uh, my kids named lucky so hopefully that doesn't mean it's, <laughs> it's not kill lucky. <laughs> it might be lucky i don't know uh, it's pretty much nocturnal right now hopefully we can get it in daylight here real soon i don't know if it's going to happen today or not but we're we are excited we've seen a lot of deer on this property i've only hunted it once he's only hunted it once and both times we've hunted it, uh, or both times that I've hunted, he's hunted it. I've seen a lot of deer. So, yep. I'm gonna try a different stand today, and I think he's gonna hunt the same stand he did the other night. We saw a bunch of deer. So hopefully we will uh, we'll be able to shoot at something. I've already killed a doe at the Missouri Public Land Challenge uh, about a week ago, a little over a week ago I killed that doe. So I could probably use another doe now, so I will shoot another doe. But obviously, I'm hoping for the big mature buck. Lucky. I was hoping Lucky's not so lucky. I hope Lucky I... isn't very lucky because I want to shoot Lucky in the lungs. Or <laughs> <laughs> heart. Either. Uh, yeah. So we'll show you the layout once we get in there. Yeah. And hopefully, show you all some deer later. Alright. So we're coming up into our spot here. There's this massive screen. area when it's a wet season. A lot of smaller trees, but it's fairly, it's pretty open back in there. So I should be able to see them coming from a good ways away. There's the thick stuff over here. But they could be bedding in, and I imagine they're probably fairly close. There was something bedding in the corn that barreled out of here when my brother walked on by. He's had another stand a few hundred yards away, probably. Probably five, six hundred yards away. All kinds of trails through here. I mean, everywhere. Fresh droppings. Fresh scrape down there on the end. Um, big community scrape. I got pretty high hopes today that we'll see some deer. Um, the neighbors to the West are cutting beans right now. You can probably hear it in the background. It just got started not too long ago. They had a looked like a breakdown or something when we drove by, and now they're now they're cutting again. So hopefully that pushes deer over here as well. Our main buck target on this farm so far is a buck that my kids named Lucky, and he's a pretty nice size mainframe uh, 10 pointer with a bunch of kickers. I think he's like got 12 or 13 points, but he's a, he's a pretty cool buck. He's he's a four-year-old deer um, from what I can tell. And pretty good sized body deer. Then this morning I saw a buck at the food plot 
which is what we call the food plot. We don't even have the food plot there yet. But it's a spot that if we continue to lease this place, we will put a food plot there. That deer showed up this morning right in front of the stand that my brother's hunting right now, or he's climbing into right now. And he looked like he could be a shooter as well. I didn't get a great look at him from the picture, but uh, from that picture, he looked like he was a fairly mature deer. So as you can see, there's corn right here in front of me. The wind's blowing this, going up towards the corn. So I'm hoping they just come up behind me. close left left of me here. I don't have very good shots to my right. Do come straight in front of me. I think I can shoot them before they win me. If they come from that side though, they'll probably get my win before I can get a shot off. They could come in from anywhere because there is I'm not kidding, there's trails. Majorly used trails everywhere. So we got high hopes. Southwest wind. It's more breezy than I thought it was going to be, so I'm happy with that. Hopefully, it stays consistent like that, so our wind doesn't swirl. I think we're really close to bedding here, really close. So as long as we got it clean, which I think we did, the wind was in our favor to do so. I think we will. I think somebody will see it here tonight. It's probably about an hour before, you know, movement starts to pick up, but I got two cell cameras on this farm, so I'll keep an eye on those and see if they start kicking off. See if deer are up on their feet. I'm going to get quiet now and uh, start, start watching for deer, so. Hopefully we bring you some action. Alrighty, I've made it to the stand. Um, I'm just kind of doing a little intro. It's about, I don't know, 60, 6 degrees or something like that. Um, my brother is hunting. Oh, I thought I got a deer in front of me. Merp. Hit her back, dead gummit. I hit her way back. Dang it. She quartered right at the last second. She quartered at the last second. Oh man. I don't know about that one. I thought that pond was the one that belongs to Doe I just shot, but its mother actually can't find it, so they just both ran off that way. She, the mother, and 
say something was up. The baby has no idea. But, uh, yeah, no, I don't, uh, I don't know how that... As soon as I pulled that trigger, she turned, and I hit further back than I thought. Intended. She was gushing blood, but... shot her that I saw a fawn fighter. I, I know this time of the year they, they can make it, but I, I really hate shooting does and fawns. But then another mature doe walked behind that fawn, so I'm just going to say that was its mom. Um, yeah, uh, I didn't hear a crash, so she's running a long way. She was, yeah, I saw blood coming out of her pretty good, so, uh, should be somewhat of a blood trail. I'm, I went around my brother's hunt, but she ran up kind of towards where my brother is, so. So hopefully it got in the pocket. Got those lungs. Give it a little while here. Give it some plenty of time. And then we'll go look for here for a little bit.
still getting good blood sign. Here's some more. Some more. Something right there. I've gone. The stand's just right there, so not too far. I thought I heard something. All right, There's some more. Oh, I think that's her right there. Pretty sure that's her right there. And that's my eyes are. No, I see your tail. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, I think she's dead too. Did. I guess it was, I mean, I thought that shot was bad, but she really didn't run that far, maybe, I don't know, 80 yards or something. I found these on the trail, I should have filmed that, but I didn't. Make sure I pick those up. Coyotes, or no. That's not it's machinery. I heard that that combine kick on. It sounded like a coyote howling, but it's not. Alrighty, so she's dead. She's I got her. So uh, it makes me happy. It makes me feel a lot better. Um, first bow kill, like I said, in, in two years with the my bow. And I ramble like an idiot. My first bow kill of two years with my bow, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, ignore my rambles. I'm gonna take care of this deer and try to get her out of here. Corey's still hunting, so hopefully, uh, hopefully he can stick one too, and then we'll have a, a double. All right, bye bye. All right, well, there she is. She only went about 70 yards from the where I shot her. Um, not a bad shot, actually. Not, and it wasn't as far back as I was thinking. I was thinking I hit her back, like by the liver. But uh, no, I, I hit her in the heart. It's typically where I hit deer. I have a habit of doubting myself, but my stand is literally it's right down there. You can't see it, it's in the dark, but yeah, it's right there. So she just ran out that way, died right, right over there. I dragged her right here. Now it's just a waiting game for my brother. He's going to bring a deer cart, which will make this a lot easier to get out of here. Yeah, so not a bad hunt. 
Not a bad hunt after all. Six deer today. That's what I saw in like an hour. Pretty happy. This is a new lease. This is the first deer killed off of this property that since we've since we've leased it. So that's good. I don't ask for much, you know, big bucks are nice. I'll shoot one if I see one, but if I can get a doe, that still makes me happy. So yeah. Happy, happy. All right, that's gonna do it for my hunt tonight. Didn't see anything. Kind of surprised, but I did hear something in the corn. So I'm gonna pack up, get down, go get the cart, and then go get my brother's toe. So got one down tonight. There she is. Doe down, loaded up on the cart. Got a, fairly good drag not too bad and we are successful and Brett is congratulations Brett. thank you very much well done